can sit in the presence of the Lord. And I want to welcome you once again into the presence of the Lord. And to, that, to those who are watching us, we also want to welcome you into this service. And we are in the presence of the Lord. I want to share the message that the Lord has given unto me and I'm calling it worship through giving praise the name of the Lord worship through giving there is several things that I want us to understand here because I'm talking about worship through giving and when I'm talking about worship through giving there are several things that we can learn from this uh, exam, uh, the, this scripture that we have read number one kwanza, is that worship is the total of outpouring of our hearts to the Lord the total outpouring of our hearts unto the Lord now this woman we can learn from, from her she outpoured her heart she, she did not justify herself she knew that she was a sinner she knew that she had lived a life of sin but as she is outpouring her life unto Jesus she is very confident that as, shall, as I shall be coming out from the feet of Jesus I shall be a, become a transformed person. Praise the name of the Lord. So worship is about the heart. Now when we are talking about worship through giving, we are talking about that worship that we give that is coming from the heart. Praise the name of the Lord. The woman emptied herself at the feet of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Number two, in worship, you don't care who is, uh, who is seeing you. In worship, you don't care what people say about you. You concentrate on Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Because when this woman came at the feet of Jesus, there were many respected people. And she knew she could be hindered to go to Jesus. She knew that she could not be given any seat near yeah. Jesus. So she did not care what people are going to do. What was in her heart is that I am going to worship. And I'm, I'm going to worship at the feet of Jesus. And I am going to concentrate on Jesus. I will not care what people will talk about me. I will not care what people will see me. What I know is that as I concentrate on Jesus, as I worship Jesus, my life will be transformed. Praise the name of the Lord. Number three, in worship, you can never live the way you came. How to Praise the name of the Lord. When you are worshiping, you cannot worship God or you cannot worship Jesus and then you live the way you came. You must be transformed. Because when this woman came unto Jesus, she came to Jesus as sinner. But when she was living from the presence of Jesus, she was a transformed person. She came in a sinner. She went a saint. 
katoka akiwa and i want to declare today in the name of jesus as you worship jesus even through your uh, you are giving you can never remain the same again praise the name of the lord because as we we enter into into worship and we come out to serve praise the name of the lord we enter to worship and we go out to serve praise the name of the lord that, that is after we have worshiped the lord we can never remain the same again we will, we will become better servants of the lord we will be able to serve the lord better praise the name of the lord number five what we can we can number four what we can learn from this scripture is that you can never separate worship and giving praise the name of the Lord it is, it, is, uh, it is something that cannot be separated worship is not complete without giving praise the name of the Lord you see this woman is coming at the feet of Jesus and she is bending at the feet of Jesus that is the issue of the heart she is pouring her heart unto Jesus but after that she is taking very expensive oil and she is breaking that jar and she is anointing the feet of Jesus praise the name of the Lord so you can never separate worship and give Worship and giving go together. The reason why Abraham became a friend, a, a friend, a friend of God, is because he had learned this secret. He had learned the secret of the altar. Praise the name of the Lord. If you read the, 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 the story of Abraham, wherever Abraham went, the Bible says he built an altar to the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. Wherever Abraham went, he made sure that he was making an altar to the Lord. Lord. And after he made an altar to the Lord, he offered his sacrifice there. Worship is connected to giving, and giving is connected to the altar, or offering is connected to the altar. Praise the name of the Lord. You see, when we, we, we are giving in worship, we give God our best. This woman gave, gave Jesus her best. The Bible is talking about expensive jar of oil, the expensive jar of oil. Praise the name of the Lord. So the Bible is saying that she poured this oil at the feet of Jesus. You see, also the reason why Abraham became the friend of God is because he was giving God the best in, in the altar. And even if it came a time, because he had used to give God his best when it comes to the altar into the worship of altar God wanted to test Abraham and he knew that he had his best because as you, 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 read, you read the story of Abraham you see he did not, he did not have a son for a period of 25 years. And when 
when he has received this son that is called Isaac, God is telling him, I want you to offer that son that is called Isaac. I, I know that it is, it is only, he, he is only your son. But I want you, you to offer him into the altar. Praise the name of the Lord. And because Abraham was obedient unto the Lord, he did not count the risk that would follow. He did not count the cost that would, would follow later. Because he wanted to give God his best. So he was ready to sacrifice Isaac. Praise the name of the Lord. And you see also God himself also gave his best son who is Jesus to die for us on the cross. So giving is connected to, to worship. Praise the name of the Lord. Number five, when, when what we are talking about uh, worship through giving is that when we worship we are forgiven. Praise the name of the Lord. There is nobody who has entered into the presence of the Lord in worship and went back a sinner. Anybody who worship God, his sins or her sins are forgiven. Praise the name of the Lord. You can you can become as a sinner, but as when you you, you begin the lifetime of worship. Then your, 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 your sins are forgiven. Praise the name of the Lord. So in worship, our, our sins, our many sins are forgiven. This woman came to Jesus as a sinner. She went be, be, being a saint. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, when we, it comes to giving also, Remember, I'm talking about worship through giving. And we can see another scripture that we can. I want us to know that we can anoint the body of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. We can anoint the body of Jesus. Now, the Bible says in the book of uh, of Luke chapter 24 if you read from the book of uh, Luke chapter 24 and you can read from verse let us start, start from verse 1 Luke chapter 24 and verse 1 now the Bible says now on the first day of the week very early in the morning they and certain other women with them came into the tomb bringing the spices which they had prepared but they found the stone rolled away from the tomb then they went into the sorry then they went in and did not find the body of the Lord Jesus. And it happened as they were greatly perplexed about this, that behold, two men stood by them in shining garments. Then, they, then as they were afraid and brought their faces to the earth, they said to them, why do you seek the living from the dead? He is not here, but he is risen. Remember how he spoke to you when he was still in Galilee. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, 
Now this is after the death of Jesus Christ. And these women are going to the Gregory of Jesus. And they are intending to anoint the body of Jesus. That is why they are bringing spices. Praise the name of the Lord. So that they may preserve the body of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Lord. And you know Jesus has three types of body. The first body is that physical body that he had when he was in this world. The body that he had when he was performing miracles. Praise the name of the Lord. But, but after he died, he had another body, the glorified body. Or the spiritual body. Praise the name of the Lord. But there is also another part of the body of Jesus, which is the church of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Now we are reading this scripture when these women going to the tomb and they are going to anoint the body of Jesus but they are finding that Jesus is not there Jesus has resurrected and the angels are telling, are telling them you cannot look somebody who is alive uh, on, on the on the grave because Jesus is alive he has resurrected praise the name of the Lord so in other words these women had carried the perfume they had carried these spices and the, the, the oil and they wanted to anoint the body of Jesus but the body of Jesus could not be found because Jesus resurrected and he was alive and he had a spiritual body who, who, which could not be anointed praise the name of the Lord so in other words it's like the angels were telling these women it is good you wanted to anoint the body of Jesus but the body of Jesus is not here he has resurrected so in other words it's like the angels are telling these women Go back without, without uh, go, go back with your with your spices, with your anointing oil. Go back with that because the body of Jesus is not here. Praise the name of the Lord. But I want us to understand. There is another part of, of the body of Jesus, which is His church. Praise the name of the Lord. The church is the body of Jesus. And when we are talking about the church, we are not talking about the buildings. We are talking about the believers. Those people who have given their lives to Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. So Jesus is the head of the church. But his body is the, the church of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. So in other words, Jesus is complete because he's he being the head of the church and the church being the body then the, the church is complete praise the name of the Lord and we have now the body of Jesus as a church because I have said that Jesus has two types or three types of bodies the first body it is only the, the, these women who, ha, who had this revelation who anointed the feet of Jesus it is only those people who, who, who anointed and that was over it could not be anointed anymore praise the name of the Lord but now we have the church of Jesus and you can anoint the church of Jesus by you are giving because I'm talking about worship through giving. 
it is an act of worship praise the name of the Lord because Mary had learnt a secret you see Jesus was, was anointed by this woman that is called Mary and Mary had learnt a secret concerning preserving the body of Jesus anointing the body of Jesus because if you read in the book of John chapter 11 you see that it is this Mary who anointed the, the feet of Jesus because the Bible says now a certain man was sick Lazarus of Bethany the, the town of Mary and her sister Martha it was, it was that Mary who anointed the Lord with fragrant oil and wiped his feet with her hair whose brother Lazarus was sick praise the name of the Lord now you see Mary had learned this secret of anointing the body of Jesus when he was alive. Anointing the body of Jesus before he died. And you see, because Jesus had, had already been anointed, his feet had already been anointed. And this woman had wiped the, 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 the feet of Jesus with her hair. She had shown Jesus all the honor. Praise the name of the Lord. When Jesus heard that his brother is sick, Jesus had to perform a miracle. And that is why he raised Lazarus. Praise the name of the Lord. So Mary had learned this, this secret of, of anointing the feet of Jesus. Of anointing the body of Jesus. But now because we do not have that body, that body has resurrected. It is that body is in heaven now. It's the spiritual body. But we have the physical body now, which is the body, uh, which is which is the church of Jesus. Because the church of Jesus is his body. And the, the head is Jesus himself. Praise the name of the Lord. Now I want us to understand that an, uh, anointing the body of Jesus is costly. It is not just a simple thing. It, it, it consumes a lot of resources. Praise the name of the Lord. You use your resources to anoint the body of Jesus. Because the, the same story is repeated in the book of John 12, uh, starting from verse 3. The reason why Jesus is coming immediately uh, uh, to, to raise Lazarus from the dead is because this family had shown Jesus the honor that he deserves. Praise the name of the Lord. The family of, of Mother and Mary and, and Lazarus, they knew how to, sh to, to show Jesus honor. Praise the name of the Lord. Because anointing the body of Jesus, and anointing the body of Jesus, I mean worship through giving. I'm talking about using your resources, using your money, so that you may you, you, you may work in the kingdom of God. Or in other words, serving God with your money and your resources. The Bible says in verse, verse 2, John chapter 12, verse 2, they had made him a supper. And, sorry, I repeat. There, they made him a supper, and mother served, but Lazarus was one of those who sat at the table with him. Then Mary took a pond of very costly oil of speak night anointed the feet of Jesus and wiped his feet with her hair and the house was filled with fragrance of oil. But one of his disciples, Judas Iscariot, 
Simon's son, who would betray him, said, Why was this fragrant oil not used for 300 denarii and given to the poor? This he said, not, not that he cared for the poor, but because he was a thief. And he had the money box, and he used to take it, to take what was put in it. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, you see this family of, of Mother and Mary and Lazarus, they used to, to invite Jesus for supper. Praise the name of the Lord. In other words, they wanted to show honor to Jesus. And Jesus come where he is invited. And Jesus likes it where he is, he is honored. Praise the name of the Lord. So when this family is inviting Jesus to come and have supper with them, Jesus is coming to eat with them. Praise the name of the Lord. But you see Mary has another secret. After they have served Jesus, after they had shown him all the, the respect and all the honor, Mary is, took, is taking very expensive oil and it is expensive it is written in the Bible because Judas Iscariot was the treasurer he knew the value of that oil anointing the body of Jesus is costly anointing the body of Jesus is costly is expensive but the blessing that we receive after we anoint the body of Jesus which is his church because I am saying today we do not have the, the, the physical body of Jesus because Jesus died and he, is, he resurrected he is now having the, the glorified body but we have the body of Jesus which is his church praise the name of the Lord and you see what happened when, when Mary was anointing the body of Jesus she also used her hair and you know it is written in the Bible that the, the, the hair of a woman is her glory. So in other words, this, this, this woman that is called Mary is pouring her glory at the feet of Jesus. But that is not enough. She is using her resources to, to to anoint the body of Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. How do we anoint the body of Jesus? We anoint the body of Jesus, which is his, his church, by worshiping him through giving. Praise the name of the Lord. Why, where am I, am I getting this scripture? that the, 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 uh, Jesus is the head of the body. You can see that from the book of Ephesians chapter 5. And you, you can see from verse 22. Uh, we, we shall continue with that later. But what I'm saying is that Jesus is the head of the church and his body is the church. In other words, we as believers we have become the body of Jesus. So when we are talking about the church we are not talking about the building. We are talking about the believers. We are talking about you and me. Praise the name of the Lord. And what Jesus said. After Mary had anointed the feet of Jesus, Jesus himself said that wherever this gospel shall be preached, the name of Mary must be mentioned. 
And that is why we are mentioning this name today. Because Mary knew how to, to, uh, to, to, to worship. She gave her best. And because she gave from her heart. So wherever this gospel is being mentioned, this, this name Mary must appear. Praise the name of the Lord. So we need to worship God through our giving. And when it comes to giving, you, you should give what is this, you have decided in your heart. You are not forced to give. Praise the name of the Lord. You give out of the heart. These scriptures that I'm giving unto you is to show you that these people are giving willingly. Nobody is telling Mary now that you, you can go and buy oil. It is Mary herself that she is feeling in her heart. I want to, to, to honor Jesus. I want to honor the body of Jesus. So she is ready to take expensive oil so that she may anoint the body of Jesus. Nasifa, wana wa mabwana